Well, I think, you know, um, uh, uh, improvements in cancer therapy are piecemeal. Uh, it's like chipping away at some coal face, you know. Uh, th there isn't just some pan anti-cancer drug. There could be. From, I believe that there might be at some point, but, but I think most of us believe that there are going to be advances in particular types of tumor uh, and the treatment and the prevention. And, you know, we've already seen, you know, major advances in things like lung cancer and the treatment of breast cancer, which come from these combinations of prevention, diagnosis, and improvements in therapy. And, you know, the whole cancer research uh, field is a very broad church, and there isn't a right way of doing it, a wrong way of doing it. I mean, some people, you know, um, uh, you know different types of medicine, complementary medicines, can be very, very useful because they make them feel better, and it's all about quality of life as much as actually, you know, nailing the tumor in, in the individual. But I think in the next uh, 15, 20 years, uh, we're going to see better and better use of unusual chemistries to start exploring what happens when we block components of cancer cells at the moment we can't treat. At the moment, there's a tendency to just say we can treat enzymes which convey signals, these kinases, and we can make drugs against them because we actually know what the enzyme site looks like and we know how to block it. But most information in biological systems which when perverted gives rise to cancer, comes from proteins touching one another because of the shapes that are complementary to one another. And we don't know much about how to make drugs that interfere with those interactions. And that's really what we need to do because the vast majority of information, whether it be normal information or aberrant cancer information that's conveyed around in cells, comes from these protein-protein interactions. And we need to develop the sort of range of chemicals that can get in there and interfere with those so that we can start pushing those buttons and pulling those levers in the way that we want and get rid of those cancer cells.